All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing warm and cool leaves. So let's get going. All right, so to start this project, we have a couple examples here that I glued down to the other side of the sketchbook. And as you can see, they use warm and cool colors. So the warm colors, as obviously you guys know, are red, orange, and yellow. And the cool colors are blue, purple, and green. So we want to divide that up accordingly. So versus the background and the uh, actual object, which is in this case are the leaves. And what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to try to do a mixture of different types of leaves in this um, bordered area that I created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black marker. And I highly suggest you guys do this in pencil first, as always. And we're just gonna go from there. So why don't I start off by kind of creating um, a couple things. Let me do, hmm, let me do my first leaf here. Okay, and I'm gonna actually put this on a nice long uh, stem here. And I'm gonna kind of alternate it. Here. Here, and I'm trying to copy this one up top because I like it a lot. And I'm going to pretend that's going off the page a little bit. There we are. And it's looking real good so far. There we go. I might want to do another one going the opposite direction. Um, I haven't decided yet. Why don't I do a different leaf now? Why don't I do... Um, hmm. Let's do this one right here. It's pretty cool. So like this, one on top, has a bunch of small, tiny ones attached to it. Pretty neat. All right, let's do another one. Why do this big one right there? So why don't I just do this? Leaf like that, kind of curves out, back around, that's pretty cool. Let's do one down here somewhere. Okay, so this one's kind of more of a waving motion. Okay, and I made it overlapping so it's behind the other one. Now why don't I do a, a normal one? has kind of uh, these waves on it. So let's do one wave, another wave around it, and waves to and from, and then it ends off somewhere in the back there. All right, and then my last leaf, I'll just do a spiky one, and then I'm just gonna spike it this direction. And I'll spike it this direction, and then I'll spike it downwards. There we go. Right, so that one looks pretty cool. There we are. All right, this one right here has more of a flow to it. So it's lining the inside. There we are. Kind of a cool pattern, actually. Okay, this one's kind of more simplistic. ones don't really have any. Um, these ones do though. So it goes all the way down the middle. All of them. Just like so. And for each of them there is um, identical names. There you go. Oh, this is looking really good. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I should have made the border a little bit larger. It's okay though. Okay, there we are. Ooh, went off the beaten path right there. That's okay. All right, and the one behind this one right here just has curved lines of that. And that can be solved with here and there. Okay, so now that's done. Now I gotta decide which side I want to have the warm colors and which side I want to have the cool colors. So I think I'm gonna decide I want to have the um, cool colors on the background. 
So I'm gonna get my cool colors out. So the cool colors are green, blue, purple. I'm gonna do a mixture of those kind of colors. So here's a couple light versions of them. And then I'll get some dark versions of those colors as well. So let me just pull those out real quick. Let's see, what is this? Pacific blue, I think that's gonna be too blue for us. Let's see, what's this one? Blue, beautiful? Interesting color choice. Uh, let's see if there's another purple. Right, there we go, so we'll do these wow, cool colors right there. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna do um, some coloring here and there. I don't think I'll do a pattern uh, per se. I think I'm just gonna kind of just color sporadically here. Kind of like a camouflage type of pattern going on. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I think it'll give more of a cool looking uh, pattern behind everything. And I think this will look real good once I'm done. So let me just do this color in random spots everywhere. And then we'll see how it looks from there. All right, this one, put that away. Let's do some dark green, let's see what happens. Ooh, that's very dark. All right, let's put this in different spots here. All right, let me probably spread it out a little more. I really like this green, so I'll make sure that I have space for this one in the spots I want. So let's just make sure we add it. I always want to add your favorite colors. Oh, this is looking really good. I'm really liking it. I hope you guys enjoy this project as much as I'm enjoying it right now. I think I'm enjoying it just a little too much. This project's really cool. I really like this blue, so I want to incorporate it couple spots as well. I still have two more colors to go, but it's looking like I'm running out of room here. So I might not be able to fit it. Right, there we go. It's looking good the way it is, to be honest with you. I might not have an opportunity to color the other sides, but we'll see. We will add it uh, gradually. So we'll see if it fits or not. If it fits, then great. If not, it's not the end of the world. All right. I think those are all the spaces I can do. The color. All right. Let's try to fit this last purple in, in the space that we have left. Let's see. Any other blank spaces that you guys can see? Not like I can hear you guys in a pre-recorded video. All right, this is looking pretty good. All right, so let's choose some warm colors and we'll go from there. So I really wanna use this kind of like bright color right here, it's not too yellowy. Um, I do want some browns, so I wanna do a couple browns here and there. Uh, these are different? Yeah, these are different. How's this brown? Perfect, okay, that's all the brown I'm gonna get. Let's try some of that color. Um, I do want a red of some sort. Why don't I do red orange? And uh, I think that's all the colors I want to use. I don't want to use too many again because six was a lot in the background. All right, so let's get going. Uh, I could do patterns like this, uh, but I think I'm going to do the, col uh, the camouflage pattern again to symbolize or try to like mimic the way of how um, a watercolor works. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of red here, this red orange, I think it's red orange. And then we'll see how it looks like with, let's try this color. Oh wow, that really blends really well together. These colors really complement each other very well. All right, there we go. Right, there's one leaf. Let's put these aside. I wanna make sure that I don't put colors that are similar. Uh, next to each other. Uh, it's very similar to the other one before. Right, there we go. That's a cool pattern. All right, this might take me longer than expected, but it's okay because it's actually turning out really good. Wow, this is looking really, really good. I wish I made this bigger on the page, but I cropped it to give myself 
uh, less water. All right, there we go. Let's do this side. This is looking really, really good. So th those of you who chose this project to do for the week, I applaud you because this is definitely one of the most tedious ones to do. All right, why don't we add, I think yellow would look good, good down here. And it does, wow. It looks really, really good. Whoa. Just a little guys. <laughs> I think I have an idea for this next one. It might or might not work, I don't know. I was gonna take these two colors and uh, try to swirl them and see what happens. And whatever I get, I get. Ooh, it's giving off this interesting texture. I'm liking it a lot. There we go, that was actually pretty quick. All right, let's reset. Do it again. Okay, why don't we do? Let's see, let's do these colors, I guess. Ooh, interesting choice I just did there. Looks very interesting. Why don't I combine that with? Let's see. Let's see a dark brown, maybe. You guys let me know if I chose well. I think I chose kind of poorly with this one. What if I highlight it a little bit with like maybe the peach all over the place? There we go. To tie it in all together. Alright, does this color tie it in? I don't know. Probably looks better than before. There we are. Okay, let's do some other ones. I think we need more of a goldish color up here. So why don't we do let's outline this? Hopefully that'll work. And then the inside we could do maybe let's see uh, this color. That was pretty neat. All right, let's try the last one. This last one, let's let's just outline it like that. Let's see what happens. <laughs> might or might not look good, I don't know. We shall see. Alright. And then we shall do... Hmm. Should we do a new color? A new bright color? Let's see. How about this one? I like a lighter orange. There we are. Alright, I had to pull a seventh color out for the warm colors. All right, um, so that is it. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I really like it a lot. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna put these colors away neatly in my container here. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.